On behalf of the Pink Network in the FMV, I welcome you all. This conference is about uh, LGTBI and the unions. What can unions do for LGTBI members? There are a lot of circumstances. People don't out themselves in the working place, are uh, bullied, are discriminated. And we try with this conference to start the process of being out, of being accepted at the working place and included in the policies of businesses and governments. For us uh, on Bonaire, this is very important because we have seven trade unions, but not one of them is concerning about um, discrimination at all. I had uh, a talk with a lady from Portugal. The main issues like religion, politics, um, a little bit more, more conservative than Holland. That's the same stuff we are dealing with on Bonaire. So they, for us, they are quite an example how to deal or how to plan actions with all that in mind. Now that has gone to the parliament to, be, uh, to, make, to make as a mandate. As part of the constitution of Nepal, there are three recognition of uh, people. That one is male, female and, uh, and third gender. LGBTI can be incorporated in that third gender categories. So they can, uh, they can take their citizenship or the passport as per their gender recognition. With that, like, they can be more supportive and they can get more inclusive in, in, in the in future. Türkiye'de e, nefret suçlarıyla ilgili ve ayrımcılıkla ilgili e, yeni yasaların yapılması gerekiyor ve bu yasaların LGBT'leri kapsayacak şekilde ayarlanması gerekiyor. Maybe it's good if it's somehow possible that our laws on international human rights or get somehow get implemented in Turkey. E, bu konferans farklı farklı deneyimleri dinlemek için ee, önemli. Burada e, diğer örgütlerin e, kendi ülkelerinde yaşadıkları sorunlarla e, nasıl mücadele ettiklerini e, dinlemek için güzel bir fırsat diye düşünüyorum. When you have a title like Freedom at Work, um, you can't do anything but talk about how you join the struggles up, all the different liberation struggles. So my key message is about freedom, equality and justice. LGBT plus, and I say plus because I don't want to forget any of our intersex people, our queer people or asexual, however they wish to be termed. I think that we have a job to play in terms of ensuring we're part of trade unions, but also ensuring our trade union structures are fully reflective and um, are part of and are inclusive of LGBT plus people. Well, my key message was that uh, fighting for equality today is even more important than before because some fundamental rights that we have been enjoying uh, from in the last decades are threatened. So we have to join in solidarity and keep fighting for equality for all. There are many things happening in Europe which are very positive. For instance, I could mention alliances between trade unions in Europe and Turkey for um, cooperation on the field of democracy and respect of trade union rights in Turkey at the moment, including minorities like the LGBT groups which are menaced at the moment in that country. And then there are things, wonderful things that LGBT NGOs and trade union activists are doing to help the refugees and also, uh, uh, for instance, uh, transsexual workers who are discriminated at the workplace through international and European solidarity. Trade unions, labor organizations, 
play a vital role by giving support, by giving a structure that whenever discrimination takes place in the workplace, that uh, these people can turn to somebody and can say, listen, you got to stand up for me and you got to support me in uh, achieving equal rights. There is a genuine uh, understanding we need to include uh, LGBT employees and we need to support them because when they feel confident and they come out, they work harder, they produce better, so there's also a business case. And my takeaway from this conference is that we really need an action oriented solidarity that is based on clear plans and clear action that will bring change. It's interesting uh, to bring together classical trade union issues like social justice, etc., and this LGBTI uh, civil rights movement. My being here has both enlightened me, uh, we've been able to share resources, and the phrase stronger together really has a new meaning here. There's a growing understanding of how um, the struggle for equal rights uh, means a struggle for uh, the equal rights of all minorities. We learned that uh, networking is important and we need to stay together and work together as trade union members and as LGTB activists. This conference has been about networking and I think that the organisers who have done a brilliant job need to make sure they communicate with people, send out the presentations, send out the slides so that we can keep that momentum going. Without the cooperation with NGOs and other civil society partners, we won't change the agendas of uh, the decision-making bodies like the Commission and the national governments. And I think this is very crucial. We should uh, ch also try to uh, change uh, conventions of the ILO, like the Anti-Discrimination Convention, and include sexual orientation and uh, uh, gender identity as non-discrimination principles. <laughs> We did have a great conference with two main good results, I'm very glad with. The first one is that we have a strong network in which we can support each other and stimulate each other. The second uh, result is that the PSI and Education International has promised us that they will stimulate that the other global unions will put this subject on their agenda.